Hello, hello. Today I am reviewing Nobody's Perfect by Douglas Clark. Now, this is the first book in the Masters and Green mystery series. Um, I picked this one up on Amazon, I believe. Um, now, this was it's the first book I've read by this author. Um, I saw he has actually done a lot of books. Um, this one, so-so. Um, basically, Adam Half, who is the chairman of a big pharmaceutical company, has been murdered. And the investigators are Masters and Green. Um, Masters is um, the lead in this, um, although he's younger than Green, which comes out, there's, there's supposedly like um, some rivalry between the two. Um, I personally found it a little hard to connect with either, particularly. Um, Masters came off um, as a bit of a, a perv for a lot of it. Um, always, you know, looking over the pretty girls and kind of just he had a thing about it. I did not like that um green also was a character that um he's older he feels that he should have been promoted and not masters so there's this thing between it. but even that it didn't there were moments when it came out and as you know came across good the thing and then but at the same time, they're going to be working together. I don't know. It just didn't. I didn't feel it. Um, as a whole, story not bad. But it's basically the entire book is them investigating and getting to what is basically the entire book summarised in a couple of pages at the end. Um... And by that point, I mean, I read the whole thing because I wanted to find out who actually did it because it seemed like anyone could have done it, really. Um, there was no point where you sort of thought, oh, that's who did it, because it was constantly, the, the book was just basically identifying another suspect after another suspect after another suspect. And then you get to the end of it and it's like, oh, really, that's, that's the choice? That's the one it was? So anyway, I was a bit... Mm, it was okay. Um, I think I'll probably give it a three star. I mean, it was readable. And everything, it's kind of like a two and a half, three though, for me. Because it just, it seemed like a lot of waffling on and to what basically the book could have been summarised as it was in the last few pages. Um, or potentially would have been better had someone else done it. Um, or maybe even if the characters had been better. I don't, I don't know. I, this, this is the first book in the series, so potentially later books in the series when the characters of each of the detectives come out more, hopefully, better parts of their characters. Um, it could become more enjoyable. I don't know. If you have read any of the other books in the series, though, I would love to hear your thoughts about them and the characters and if they get any better. Anyway, um, so that's it for today. That is my Nobody's Perfect by Douglas Clark. And that's the, that's the page there. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.